MeadowExpressRadio.com. Thank you for tuning in to Metal Express Radio. Joining us now is John Oliva's Pain. Ouch! Oh, God, it hurts. It does. John, could you please introduce your band? Ben? I will start on this end here with my friend from Canada on bass guitar and vocals, Kevin Rothney of S*** oh. Hall. Oh. We have uh, here on guitar, lead guitar, Mr. Matt Laporte <laughs> from Parts Unknown. My name's John. How you doing? Your That's name's me. Mariah. Mariah. As in Fox. As in Fox. On drums, we have Mr. Christopher Kinder from Boston. I forgive him for being from up there, because I'm a Yankees <laughs> fan. From outer space, we have Mr. John Zahner. And from the land of the Giants, we have Mr. Tom McDine. <laughs> well, it's nice to meet you all. Thank you for joining us. Oh, you just just, just begun to fight. Here we go. <laughs> With the highly anticipated release of your new JOPCD Global Warning and the tragic and sudden passing of your producer, engineer, Greg Marchak, Describe to the fans what it took for you to be able to pull off such an amazing, amazing piece of music. Um, you know, uh, th I've been through this before when I lost my brother, so I guess kind of of all the guys, I kind of like, hate saying that, but it was kind of like used to that feeling. But it took everybody just joining together, and I got to lay out special credit to Chris, mm -hmm. because Chris really came to the to the party and took over the the engineering on a lot of the stuff and and worked harder than anybody on this album except for me no I'm only kidding. <laughs> but uh you know we just joined together we were like hey you know we got to do this and it was weird for us because we had a, a system set up with greg because we did two albums with him so we had a way a process of doing things and that was all just thrown out the window so we kind of had to start again and that's why it took a couple extra months for the record to get done because we had to kind of reconnoiter <laughs> and go well I could listen to him for hours. <laughs> we had to reconnoiter and just, but we all, it was really everyone just saying like, hey, we got to do this, so let's get it done. And everyone just did their thing, you know, and it, and it, and it really came out great. And we dedicated the album to them and stuff. And, uh, you know, I'm very proud of it. It's a great record. It was amazing. Buy it, please. <laughs> In your career, John, how does this new CD stack up against other albums? And, and where do you continue to find such amazing songwriting skills that seem to... No, actually, um, this album is one of my favorite albums I've ever done. You know, um, I put it right up there with Gutter, Streets, any of the TSO stuff. Um, because it's, it's real, you know, and it's very versatile. It's got a lot of different flavors. It, sh it highlights the musicianship of the guys in the band. Matt's guitar work on this album is by far at the level of Chris Oliva, and that coming from me is a lot to say, but I really do put it at that level. And uh, everyone, you know, just the, the performance of it. It's one of my favorite albums I've ever done, if not my favorite. So buy it! <laughs> With the recent postings across the internet that Sabotage has officially retired, what are your future goals for JOP? To keep playing and making records. And, you know, I originally started this with a three album idea, and that was mainly just to see how I felt after doing an album or so. And I didn't really, I didn't really know these guys, I knew these guys personally, except for John's the only one I had played with before. So it was just getting used and seeing how we were going to connect, you know, and at the end of the first record, I knew there was a, something was happening, and then the second record was way better, and I was like, wow, this is going to be great, and then the third, it, so each record is taking a progression, so I'm like excited, we're already starting to work on the next record. Well, we're very looking forward to hearing it. So <laughs> Your band has an incredible fit for you and your music. Um, we can hopefully assume that this will be your main focus for the upcoming years. Yeah, it is. It is. It's like it's the main thing I'm doing because it's it's what I want to do. I've, you know, I got the success with Trans Siberian Orchestra, but this band, I can do anything I want. I can do acoustic songs. I can do heavy metal songs. I could do pop songs. I can do anything. So, this is where my heart is, you know. And then the, the TSO stuff is my job. That's where I make the money to be able to do this. So, are there any other projects that you're working on now? Just. I'm um, working with uh, Doctor Doctrine and working on their record, which Tom is a part of, the guitar player, and, and my friend Dr. Dan, Danger I call him, 
and uh, that's going to be great. It's got a lot of weird stuff on it, and uh, we're in the process of getting ready to put real tracks down. So I'm excited about that because it's weird, and uh, I think it's going to be great. Well, I hear that you're dragging Tom McDine throughout Europe and the We're US. We're dragging him, all right. And I yeah. want to know, how do you honestly think he'll be able to withstand all of your hazing? <laughs> He's a virgin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I weep for the future. No, Tom's great. He's a great player, and we're happy to have him on board. And, uh, Thank you very much. Thank you. All it's all lies. You. It's all lies. But yeah. we, got, we can't yeah. say that we hate you. That's because right. Or on TV or whatever it is. I'll edit the video accordingly. Anyways. Uh, he's a great player. He's gonna he's gonna do great. And it's also you know we're trying to spread the word about the Doctrine pro Project and and uh, you know because Tom's a very big huge part of that. And you know get the word out with that. Maybe play some stuff for people when we go over there and try to help that thing out also. And then we'll see what happens. As long as he keeps shrinking when he's next to me, it's cool. <laughs> That's gonna I be got tall stress. dudes. I got three <laughs> tall dudes, a dude from Canada, and this guy. He's <laughs> what the f I do. <laughs> oh, anyway, but I love them all. They're great. So, John, which song did you choose to have spun on Metal Express Radio, and why? Which song? One of my songs, or any song? Any song. Oh, any song. Any song. Any song. Yeah. Really? Of all time. Of all time. <sighs> Let's see, I'm in a Sabbath mood, so I would have to say, and from an obscure Sabbath record, Disturbing the Priest off of Born Again. Excellent choice. Thank you, man. There goes the beeps, by the way. Do you have to beep this out? You told me I was allowed to, they told me I was allowed to swear. I won't swear anymore. That's a brutal I just said we weren't going to swear anymore, and you're shooting your mouth off. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Shooting my mouth off. All right, let's go ahead and roll that track. Roll it! <laughs>